Hello everyone. In the previous two videos, I have explained the part 1 and part 2 of this multiplication trick for multiplication by 9, 99, 999 and so on. Part 1 was, had equal number of digits in both the multiplier as well as the multiplicand. Part 2, the multiplier had more number of digits. Now in part 3, the multiplicand will have more number of digits. And this method is slightly different to the previous two methods. Okay, slightly different. So let's uh, look at a few examples. I have written down four examples here on the paper. So in the first sum, we have a two digit number multiplied by a single nine. Okay, the next few examples have got more number of digits. Let's look at the first example. We have 74 multiplied by nine. Now what we do in such situations is where we have uh, less number of digits in the multiplier. Okay, So what we do is we draw a partition line like this just to the left of how many uh, digits uh, there are in the multiplier. So here we had only one single 9 here. So we have drawn a partition line here in this fashion. Now, So what we do is we uh, take this number 74 and subtract one extra to this number on the left. That is 8. So subtracting 8 from 74, we get the number as 66, which we write to the left here, 66. And then we subtract this 4 from the base of 9, that is 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. So the final answer that we have for 74 multiplied by 9 is 666. Let's look at it once again. We had the number 74 multiplied by 9. There was a single digit in the multiplier. So we drew a partition line in this fashion just to the left of the one digit. Then we had one digit on the left of the multiplicand. Okay. So we took the entire multiplicand that is 74. Then subtracted one more than this number on the left. So we subtracted 8 from this 74. And we got the number 66 which we wrote on the left here. And for the final step, we did 10 minus 4, that is 6. Now let's look at the second example. This will clear things up more. Now we have two digits in the multiplier. So what we'll do is we draw a partition line here next to the two digits. So we have a single digit number here on the left of the multiplicand, which is 3. Adding 1 to that, it becomes 4. So we'll now be subtracting 4 from this entire multiplicand. Okay. So subtracting 4 from 357, we get the number as 353. And then for, for the final step, we subtract uh, 57 from the base of 99, that is 100. So for that, we do is 9 minus 5 is 4 and 10 minus 7 is 3. So the answer that we have for 357 multiplied by 99 is 35,343. Now let's look at the third example. Here we have a three digit number multiplied by a single 9. So it will be slightly more different again. So single, multi single digit multiplier here. We draw a partition line just next to that single digit. Now we have a two digit number on the left of the multiplicand. Okay. So left of the partition line for the multiplicand. So increase that two digit number by one, which is this 64 will become 65. Then we'll subtract this 65 from the entire multiplicand. Okay. So 648 minus 65, which gives us the number as 583. Okay. 583 will be written here. And then for the final step, we'll subtract this 8 from base of 9, that is 10. 10 minus 8 gives us 2. So the answer that we have for 648 multiplied by 9 is 5832. Be careful during subtraction because whenever we have draw partition line and we have more number of digits on the left here, the subtraction takes a little extra time or we have to be a little extra cautious. Okay. Now let's look at the fourth example. We have a four digit number multiplied by triple nine. Okay, in this case, we'll draw a partition line next to the three digits. Now we are left with just a single digit number on the left of the partition line in the multiplicand. So this is two. We'll increase that by one. That is, it will become three. Then subtract three from the entire multiplicand. Okay, so 2439 minus three will give us 2436 
and then for the final step we will subtract this 439 from 1000 and it becomes 9 minus uh, 4 is 5, 9 minus 3 is 6 and for the final step we will consider this as 10, 10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, so the final answer that we have for 2439 multiplied by triple 9 is 24 lakhs 36,561. Okay, this uh, third part of the trick, Vedic Maths trick for multiplication by 9 or 99 or 999 and so on is slightly more difficult than the previous two parts. The previous two parts were just straightforward uh, methods, very easy. We could have done that in matter of two seconds or three seconds or in almost all situations. In this situation, there is a little bit extra uh, cautiousness that is required because whenever we draw a partition line, we are left with some part of the multiplicand on the left of the partition line and we are supposed to subtract one more than that part, that number. Okay, In this case, we had the number 64 and we had to subtract 65 from this entire multiplicand. In this case, we had the number 7 on the left. So we subtracted 8 from this 74. In this case, we had the number 3 on the left of the partition. So we subtracted 4 from the entire multiplicand. And in this case, we had the number 2 on the left of the partition. So we subtracted 3 from the entire multiplicand. Okay, so we have to be slightly extra cautious with this uh, part. Okay. I hope this helps and this is becomes useful to every one of you.